Hey guys, it's Kevin here with WatchHimTrade.com. Today's date is May 2nd, 2015. This will be a video chart on Twitter. First off, disclaimer, I do own Twitter shares in my long-term account, an IRA account that I have set up. So I own some shares in that. want to get that out of the way. However, while I do own shares, that's not going to stop me from saying that this stock looks like a piece of shit. Literally, there is nothing pretty about Twitter at all all just a huge dump on Wednesday or Tuesday rather the earnings leak debacle and then it continued went from bad to worse throughout the rest of the week ended up closing near its February lows and you know there's just nothing that looks good about Twitter I think it's one of the best shorts in the market right now until something turns around on the name so first things first price action perspective forty dollars right once you were able to stabilize above 40 in the early part of 2015, that set up a big move to the upside towards 45 and then eventually 50. So $40 intermediate to longer term, that's the level that as long as she's below, she's in trouble. Okay, as long as Twitter's below 40 bucks, my bias is to the downside. Once you get above 40 bucks, we can start talking about a bottoming process. All right. So in the short term, though, no. first thing I want to point out, number one, since the big miss and you know big drop on earnings, Twitter has put in lower highs three consecutive days. Has not gone above its prior day's high at all. All right. So your first thing to watch is your previous day's high. So Friday's high, 39.25. That is key resistance on Monday. Below 39.25. Any bounce can get sold in Twitter, in my view. All right, above 39.25, we look for a test on that $40 mark, and just mentioned that I think $40 is the key level to get above in order to set up a bottoming process. I'm going to break it down into a 15-minute chart to get some more price levels of reference here. actually going to go three minute chart because I don't want to get that big gap down in the way I think that kind of messes with things alright so here you are this is Friday's action and part of Thursday afternoon's action you could see Friday morning you were doing this thing where you're flushing going sideways flushing going sideways flushing and then just kind of went sideways the rest of the day but it was an undeniable downtrend so I want to take the sideways price areas that you know it was kinda of holding around I'm gonna call this number one and I'm gonna call this number two and these are my key resistances in the early part of this upcoming week so this range here is between 37 80 and 38 10 just about 38 20 maybe alright so this range right here that's marked as number one that's key short-term resistance and then number two this range here is between 3850 and 3880 number two that is your secondary resistance if you can get above number one get above number one you can target number two get above number two you, you can target that 3925 mark get above 3925 you can target 40 bucks but if none of those things are happening and you're staying beneath number one or staying beneath number two or staying beneath 3925 then first of all be looking for a test on Friday's low which is just above 37 bucks at about 3730 I'm gonna go back to the daily chart and if you come beneath that that meaning Friday's low and in, in the 37s then that exposes the lows from late December early January this low is 3460 on up to 35 so beneath 37 35 on down to 3460 comes into play and if you were to get below that it's pretty much lights out at least in the near term the all-time low would definitely be in play this is a weekly chart here the all-time low is right around 30 bucks alright so and just you know this weekly chart shows you just how ugly this action was you gave up eh, about three months worth of gains in just one pitiful week so Twitter's in trouble I think bounces get sold from here again I'm not gonna be 
saying anything positive on this stock until it can regain forty dollars and even once it regains and if it regains forty dollars you still need to recover back above the close from the gap down off of the earnings leak and that is forty two dollars and twenty seven cents so above forty all eyes are on that forty two area get above that then I can you know start to get positive and optimistic and maybe as a long-term shareholder think about adding more shares but I will tell you right here right now I have absolutely no incentive to add more shares of Twitter at these prices doesn't look like it's going to be doing anything for me anytime soon